Well, good morning. Woo, hot mic. Well, my name is George Marshall. If you're looking at the bulletin, I am not Brian Mann. Sorry. We exist to display the glory of God's grace in Jesus Christ by proclaiming him to all peoples for their everlasting joy in God. Um, I want to just welcome you this morning to the Mount. We're glad to have you here to worship with us. Um, I'm going to give you some announcements, and then we're going to get going. Okay, so first... There's a lot of announcements. Um, Sundays, we have Word and Prayer at 940, so you've already missed it this morning, but we we encourage you to come join us next Sunday, 940 in the morning. We'll look at God's Word, and we'll pray through it um, as a body. It was a great time this morning, so I definitely encourage you to do that. Uh, Wednesdays, of course, the youth will be gathering at 6 p.m. in the youth room for a time of Bible study, dinner, and games. Uh, May 14th is the men's Bible study at 9.30 a.m. We'll be discussing Rediscover Church by Colin Hansen, um, as we have been. I mean, if you haven't read it, you're still welcome to come. If you're male, you should come. Uh, you can join at any time. May 14th will also be the men's night out. The details are forthcoming on that, but it will be putt-putt somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. May 15th is the ladies' book study at 7 p.m. in the youth room discussing, discussing, not disgusting, oh my gosh. Discussing chapter 10 and the conclusion on, of None Like Him by Jen Wilkin. Uh, May 15th is also a members' meeting after service. So May 14th, May 15th, it's a busy weekend. So definitely come on out. Uh, May 18th is Meet the Mount. This is an opportunity to learn more about meaningful church membership. It's at 6.30 p.m. in the Mount Cafe. And you want to RSVP to Brian Mann if you're interested in uh, coming to that. Uh, May 22nd is the Discipleship Quarterly on Culture, which is going to be Ministry to Refugees. So if you want to know more, if you're interested in how we can minister to uh, people who find themselves in our area um, as refugees, definitely come out um, and learn more. And then finally, May 29th is the Summer Kickball Kickoff. Um, it's a fun time of fellowship. Meet at the Nettles Park. The Nettles Park. Meet at Nettles Park. Uh, more t details, of course, on that are also to be forthcoming. Um, we don't necessarily uh, point this out every time, but I do want to remind you we have two podcasts. Um, one is Him We Proclaim, which is essentially um, a place where you can get all of our sermons. Um, you can get them and listen to them um, in whatever you know player you want to use. So if you use Spotify, if you use iTunes, whatever, um, that's the first one. And then we have Around the King's Table, where we get to sort of talk through theological issues, things that will, uh, you know, impact um, the life of believers in the church um, and how they do ministry. So you want to listen to that maybe and, and learn a little bit. Um, and then finally, just some things to keep in mind. Tides and offerings are in the front and the back, or you can scan the QR code, go to our website um, and give. And finally, if you're a guest, restrooms are not in this building. They are through the door, into the back building, and to your left. Okay, so that completes announcements. Actually, it doesn't. Also, if you are a guest, there's a Let's Connect card here. Go ahead and fill that out. Let us know you were here this morning so that we can pray for you, maybe get in touch with you. Um, even if you're not a guest, you're just needing prayer. Go ahead and fill it out so that we know and we can be praying for that as your elders. Um, and now, finally, if I can get Jared Weaver to come here and join me on the stage. Uh, members, hopefully you've already read through his membership application that we posted on Slack. You've gotten to know him just a little bit. Um, I'm going to ask him a couple questions. You ready? Okay. Okay. Do you believe that without Jesus, you're a hopeless sinner who has rebelled against God and deserves his righteous anger? Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of sinners? Do you trust that Jesus' death on the cross has saved you from your sins? Amen. Do you believe that God has adopted you as his child and made you part of his family, and that he wants you to live your life in deep relationships with your brothers and sisters in this local church? Amen. Do you promise to rely on the Holy Spirit and obediently follow Jesus in everything as a servant and as missionary to your family, your neighbors, your co-workers, your enemies, and your friends. 
As a member of the Mount Church, do you promise to pray for God's kingdom to advance in the Clemson Central area and to the ends of the earth? Do you promise to give your time, energy, and money to uh, generously to accomplish that goal? And then finally, do you promise to love the diverse group of believers called the Mount Church? Will you submit to our pastors and eagerly pursue and protect this church's unity, diversity, love, and purity? Okay, so church, based on his professions here, a hearty yes and amen will do. Awesome. Definitely grab him after service. You can go ahead and clap. Feel free. Yeah. And grab him. Grab him after service. Shake his hand. Let him know you're glad that he's here. And with that, I'm going to call up Suzanne uh, to read our call to worship. If you'd stand for the reading of God's word. I'm going to read a passage from Isaiah the prophet, chapter 49. Listen to me, you islands. Hear this, you distant nations. Before I was born, the Lord called me. From my mother's womb, he has spoken my name. He made my mouth like a sharpened sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me into a polished arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, you are my servant, Israel, in whom I will display my splendor. But I said, I have labored in vain. I've spent my strength for nothing at all. Yet what is due me is in the Lord's hand, and my reward is with my God. And now the Lord says, He who formed me in the womb to be a servant, to bring Jacob back to him and gather Israel to himself, for I am honored in the eyes of the Lord, and my God has been my strength. He says, It is too small a thing for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back those of Israel I have kept. I will also make you a light for the Gentiles, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. This is what the Lord says, the Redeemer and Holy One of Israel, to him who was despised and abhorred by the nation, to the servant of rulers. Kings will see you and stand up. Princes will see and bow down because of the Lord who is faithful, the Holy One of Israel who has chosen you. So let's pray. Dear Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, you are the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through you. You are the good and perfect gift who came down from the Father of heavenly lights, and you are the light of the world, the light of the world who points us from darkness to eternal life. Bless us now, Father, as we study your word, Lord. Open our hearts and minds to receive your word. And these things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen.